Hey, what's up everybody? This is D with Kickin' Bass TV. Today we're gonna be showing you how to re-spool a bait casting reel. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below and stay tuned. All right guys, so today we're gonna to be showing you how to put line on a bait casting reel. The line we're gonna be using is this Suffix Advanced Hyper Copolymer, which is a great low memory line with great resistance to UV damage as well, which means it lasts a lot longer. We're gonna be throwing it on this Daiwa Procaster 80 bait casting combo, which is one that we personally own four of, and we highly recommend. It's a great all around bass fishing combo. First thing you're gonna do is remove the spool from the packaging. Locate the end of the line, which is usually either held down by a sticker or tucked into a line catcher as they are at the suffix spools. After that, go ahead and place the spool back into the packaging with the lid remaining open and make sure that when you're pulling the line off, it's coming up over the top as you pull it towards you. This will help to prevent any back coiling. Next, we're gonna secure the line to the spool and we're gonna do that using a very low profile knot. It's super simple to learn. First, you're gonna tie a single loop knot at the end of your line, like so. Make sure that you snug the knot by pinching it at the end and pulling with your other hand. After that, we're gonna cut the tag end off from our first knot with a pair of clippers, ensuring to stay as close as possible to the end of that knot. If you find that your tag end is still just a little bit too long, just give it one more of those good snugs and you should be able to pull it to the end of that line. Next, you're gonna to wanna to run the end of that line through the very first eyelet, which is the closest one to your reel on the rod. Then put that line through what's called the line guide right here at the front of the reel. And this is the portion of the reel that's gonna to help to ensure that your line loads evenly on the spool. After that, you're gonna to wanna to try to tuck that line into these small holes in the spool and spin the reel until you see that line come all the way around on one rotation. This is where you're gonna tie your next knot. Once you've pulled the line through, this is where you're gonna tie what's known as a square knot or a double knot. And this is effectively gonna create a slip knot of sorts, which will not only keep your knot super low profile and centered in the middle of the spool, but will eliminate the need for any further clipping. Once you've got that square knot started, simply snug that up by pulling both ends of the line until that knot is almost completely tight and leaving about an inch or so left of the tag end. Then you're gonna pull the remaining slack from the other end of the line as you can see here, which will eventually make that tag end shorter and shorter and end up dead center in the spool. And this is where you want this because this will be the lowest profile area for it to sit and will eliminate any burr sticking up which can cause knots and backlashes. Next, you're gonna lightly pinch the line and guide it out in front of your reel with your hand to help you load the spool. Then make sure that you secure the line somewhere with something heavy in front of it to prevent it from pulling away as you spool your reel up. And like we said, just make sure that that line is coming out from over the top towards you as opposed to underneath, which can cause it to back coil. Then simply hold your reel out in front of you at a 90 degree angle, keeping that line lightly pinched with the guide hand and you're ready to spool it up. And as long as you follow the manufacturer's suggested line capacity for your specific reel, maintain that tension and watch that it's spooling evenly on the reel, you shouldn't have any problem whatsoever. After that, simply clip the line and begin to run the end of the line through each of the micro guides on your rod. Now it's important that you make sure that you don't wrap the line around the pole as you're running these through the guides as any wrap around that pole can not only cause improper casting, but if you do catch a fish and it is wrapped, it can potentially cut and lead to a lost fish and we don't want that. Next, we'll cover the basic features of most bait casting reels and that's gonna be your spool tensioning knob, your drag and your magnetic brakes. Once my drag is set, I typically start out by setting my brakes to about half or five or six out of 10. And then I'll slowly adjust my spool tensioner knob right here, depending on the weight of the lure I'm throwing until when it hits the surface of the water on the drop, it only lightly back coils. From there, you can go ahead and throw a couple of casts, 
just to gauge where you're at in the dialing in process. Typically, it's going to be one of two things, either more or less of the spool tensioning knob or more or less of your brakes being applied. The reason I like to start up with them set high is because it will help prevent a backlash when you're first getting your settings set up and you can always click those back. So if you're not getting the distance you thought, maybe it's a little stiff, loosen the spool tensioning knob, click those brakes back a couple of clicks. Just experiment until you find the desired action that you want with your setup and then you're going to be spending a lot less time messing with your gear and more time catching fish. All right, guys, so hopefully you should be good to go. If you follow those simple directions, then your uh, bait caster should be relatively easy to set up. And if you do have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below or you can send us an email at uh, kickingbassofficial at gmail.com. As always, the best way to support us here is to hit the subscribe button down below and you can hit that bell notification to stay up to date with all our new release content. Till next time, guys, I'm D with Kicking Bass TV. Subscribe! <laughs>